Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I'm with Barbie. I mean Hello. Lily. <laughs> this is Lily who is being our pseudo Barbie for me today. You guys know the Barbie movie is coming out in July. I think it's gonna be a huge movie this summer. There was so many great hairstyles, so of course we had to create a few and teach you how, because I think these are gonna be great Halloween costumes this year. So today we are doing Malibu Barbie, the half up look that she wears with the cute bow in her hair. So let's get to that. So we started with Lily's hair and we just put some curls into it using the Heritage Curling Iron. You could start with like a blowout look, you could start any way you wanted, but I thought just some soft, I'll spin you, subtle waves looked nice and kind of were re reminiscent of what you see her hair looking like in the movie. To add a little extra texture, I'm gonna use a little texture spray. I like adding a little texture spray in the root just because it gives a little more grip to the hair as I'm working with it. And you can also use a little texturizing powder if you don't want to use the spray, either one would work just fine. This is great, I feel like, in the root area, so really work that in. We want some volume right here on the back of her head. In the movie, it's pretty fluffy. Then, once you've got that started, in the movie she has kind of swoopy bangs. Lily's aren't quite as short, but we're gonna leave out some front pieces to give the bang effect. And we're gonna go about halfway between her ear and her part line, and we're gonna pick up. So we're gonna definitely be leaving some hair down like this. We're just gonna kind of part all the way around and repeat on the other side. And then I kind of just gauge it, like I feel like I'm a little heavy on this side, so I'm gonna do a little less. That feels better to me. When you're all said and done, you really won't see this, so it doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect. It's just kind of making sure they're relatively even. So then I'm going to take the hair, I'll just finger comb it, making sure again I have pieces I need out kind of finger comb it back. You can use a comb or a brush if you want. I just sometimes don't like it that smooth and I feel like it kind of takes away from the texture at the top that we want. Make sure we don't have any like huge bumps popping anywhere. Then I will add an elastic. One little spot right there, I can tell. There we go. I'm gonna use a clear elastic on her hair so it would hide. If you have dark hair and you're doing this, you can use a dark elastic. And I'm just going to make a little ponytail right here, like this. Now, in the movie, it's definitely flipped, so we need to flip it ourselves. So we're gonna just kind of loosen and make a little hole right here. So you can see, like my finger is, you're just making a little hole. Like, you can stretch it a little wider, you know? And then you're just gonna flip it so you're gonna go from down to up and flip that through. Like this. And that, just the little flip that we just did, you can see how much like volume and like movement up that gives the hair. So it's gonna really sit like whoosh up, which is what we want. In the movie, she definitely has a little puff. She definitely has that like little bump on the back of her head that we wanna see. To make it even a little more accented and dramatic, you can take like a little tiny hair clip like this one and put it right in there and clip it. And then just make sure that the hair hides that and it would even give more volume. To help prevent this from happening, you can just back comb a little bit and that's gonna help that hide. It's also gonna give more volume. And again, this is where you could add, if you're having a hard time or you have thin hair, you could add a little more texture powder. That's gonna help give that grit that your hair needs to really stay put in one place and give you that big volume that you want. Barbie's dramatic hair, right? She was like, big hair. When you get that the way you like it and looking good, then really all they did was add a cute bow to match her outfit. So we have this cute little bow that's matching her dress. I will link where I got the bow in the description box below. But basically you just take the bow and you wanna get a little bit of a grip of hair from underneath so that you make sure you've got something for it to connect to and secure it. Bow doesn't wanna snatch the teeth. There we go. Kind of fluff. And you have, there you have it. Barbie's little look. Okay, we're gonna do the final Barbie spin. Woo. Are we ready? Here we go. We're ready. 
We got the bow with the dress. It's so cute. All the way around. It's amazing. Lily, did you play with Barbies when you were little? Oh yeah, it's like up until like seventh grade. It's kind of fun. I don't remember when I stopped playing with Barbies, but I definitely had like a whole bunch and then our kids had a whole bunch, so. Yes. I love Barbie. No, I used to turn them into boys. Like I would cut their you hair. Cut <laughs> Dax used Stop. to cut Paisley's Barbie's hair and then he'd be, she'd be so mad at him. She'd be like, my Barbie! Uh, oh well. Uh, brothers. Okay, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, you can click right here to do that. You can check out our other videos by clicking over here. And we will see you guys next time. Bye y'all!